be forever Or it's gonna go down in flames You can tell me when it's over If the high was worth the pain Got a long list of examples They'll tell you I'm insane But I've got a blank space, baby to my channel so in today's video we are going to be doing another holiday makeup tutorial now this look can be something that you can wear for Thanksgiving or even the holiday season which is Christmas or Christmas Eve or anything like that for this look I am going to be using my morphe 350 palette you guys know I have been loving and obsessed with this palette I use all of my palettes like down to the nitty-gritty every time I get them so for this look I just decided to do something more of like that classic neutral eye with a bright red lip that classic Classic kind of pin up per se type of look where it's just neutral in the eyes and then a really big bright lip. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've had this envisioned and in mind for quite some time. You can substitute if you guys don't want to do the makeup on the upper lid, like upper lid area. If you don't want to do the eyeshadow, you can just do kind of like my natural glam makeup look where I just applied foundation pretty much everywhere, filled in my brows and did all of that. And you can just do a wing liner. So for this wing liner, I did apply my tape trick. Um, I will have a detailed video I will link down below that I did with the Bold Boutique that's going into specific like in depth and telling you guys everything from my tricks and how I do my things and everything like that. I will have that link down below because I'll probably speed through this uh, uh, um, wing liner application just because it's something that I was kind of struggling with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Nonetheless, I will be getting more Thanksgiving looks out. Let me know what you would like to see for your holiday look, whether it's Thanksgiving or Christmas. Let me know so I can get those filmed before the holiday season starts coming up and I will talk to you guys very soon. Mwah. Love you. Bye. Alright you guys, so starting off I'm going to prime my lids like I always do using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC45. I love using this because it's thick, it's going to conceal all of the darkness that I have around my eyes and just help to prime. So then I'm going to take the Morphe palette, I'm taking two shades, the orangier shade and the lighter shade, and I'm using that on a big fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm just working that into my crease as my transition shade. I am using my Morphe 350 palette for this, but if you have shades otherwise you can use those as well. Then I'm going to go in with this warm reddish brown shade on a Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm working this into the outer V and I'm slowly starting to push this into the crease to add as another bridge shade and just to add a little bit of more warmth to the look just to warm it up so it's not <clears throat> too bland you know what I mean. <laughs> then I go back in with a little bit more of those two orangey shades on that same big fluffy blending brush and I just buff those two shades together just so they blend seamlessly. So now I'm going to mix the two to a dark the darker brown and the more warm tone brown and cool tone brown I'm gonna mix those two shades together on a coastal scent pointed blending brush it's kind of like the e45 by Sigma but it has um, more of a natural bristle brush as opposed to synthetic so I'm just gonna blend this into my crease and just work this in and then go back in with the e25 with a little bit more of that reddish brown just to help to blend those shades as you guys see I will go in and add a color then I'll go back in with the previous brush and the previous color and just help to buff and blend those shades and I continue to to do that so then I use my NYX eyeshadow base in skin tone which I wasn't gonna do but I ended up doing and then I'm just applying that all over my eye with a Sigma concealer brush then I take that neutral matte vanilla skin tone shade and I'm patting that all over my lid I wanted this to be a matte look so not a lot of shimmer just to you know kind of make it wearable for a lot of women because I know a lot of women do don't like to and cannot wear shimmer because it looks a mess so we're gonna do this with matte I'm going in and blending out that harsh edge so that the brown and that vanilla shade blends all together and I'm just using a little mitt a little bit more of that brown shade as well. So then for eyeliner, I'm using my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner Pen in the shade Black is Black or Intense Black, you know, black. Um, and I'm just drawing a line. This was kind of difficult for me just because it was in a pen form as opposed to a kind of a liquid liner form. I don't know, but I, I worked it out. I used the tape trick just to make sure my line was really intense and really sharp and defined. And then for lashes, I went in with my Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess, which are dupes for the House of Lashes iconic lashes. And you couldn't really see them, but they just kind of start a little bit smaller and they get longer and wispier out in the outer V. So I just put those on with my fingers and then I use the Ardell 
tweezer set. So to prime my skin, I'm using my Lorac Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. This is one of my favorite primers. It doesn't necessarily mattify my skin, but it's a really good silicone base, so my foundation glides on really smoothly. So then, yeah, I'm breaking out on my skin, so it's just horrid. Like, I'm crying inside, low-key. <laughs> For foundation, I'm using my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Full Coverage Foundation because I wanted this to be a flawless finish. This foundation does that for me. You need the tiniest bit. I just used whatever was on the little dotter and then I blended it all out with my Real Techniques like expert face brush or something like that. It's a really cool tone foundation but I really love this foundation. A little bit goes a long way and I do use a little bit more than I need to. A little bit goes a long way as I mentioned but it just gives me the perfect flawless complexion. I don't try to use this enough because it's like 55 bucks but if you can get your hands on it, give it a try. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Dark Neutral just because my foundation was a little bit warm. So I'm trying to balance out the cool and the warm tone by using a more cool tone or a neutral tone concealer And a since my foundation was so warm. So I'm just blending that out, putting that underneath of my eyes to highlight under there, down the bridge of my nose just to balance out and also in the center of my forehead to also balance out the highlight. Because I find if you just apply it underneath of your eyes, it just looks unbalanced if you don't put any underneath of your nose or down the bridge of your nose or in the center of your forehead so I blended that all out and then I'm setting all of that with my Sasha buttercup setting powder you can get this on Amazon um, I don't believe they have any stores so the only place I've found it is on Amazon it's about 25 bucks but it is worth it you guys as you see in every single video I bust this baby out because it is the bomb.com so then I just brush it away after I let it kind of settle and set all of that with a elf blush brush and then I go in and contour I'm more so bronzing this day because I use the bigger fluffier more um, loose powder brush as opposed to a defined contouring brush and I use my Nikki Garrett contouring palette that you can also get from Amazon and it's about $14 it's not too expensive as opposed to like Anastasia Beverly Hills or Sleek or anything like that and then I just go in and also contour down the bridge of my nose just to add a little bit more structure to my nose when you highlight your nose it brings that center of your nose forward a little bit so going in and contouring just adds a little bit more definition and a little bit more depth to your nose and just adds shadow so it makes the it gives it the illusion of it looking smaller and if you see someone in the frame that's my mom my mom was sitting right next to me talking to me the whole time like asking questions and everything so sorry about that if you see me talking and I applied my Maybelline dream bouncy blush in the shade red wine with an elf dual fiber brush because it's a cream brush and then I used my color pop highlighter in the shade wisp which is my favorite but as you guys can see I have that huge planet on my cheek so I try not to highlight too much on that side but y'all know regardless pimple or not I'm gonna highlight to the gods so I went ahead and just hit the tops of my forehead cheekbones I also do my cupid's bow just to define that a little bit more because I'm doing a brighter lip and then do the tip and the bridge of my nose just to bring that forward a little bit more so I also go in with my Rimmel London scandal eyes and or I'm sorry NYX Wonder Pencil and Light, ah, changing it up on you guys. I'm putting this into my waterline just to brighten it up and to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. And then I go back in with the, those two brown shades and I apply that underneath of my eyes with a Sigma Flat Definer Brush. And then I just go in and um, I'm going to go in and smoke that out with that same reddish brown warm tone just to blend that out so it's not a harsh brown line right underneath of where my lashes are but I'm just doing this just to define my lashes a little bit more so that they just don't get lost and my lower lash line just doesn't get lost so I did that and then I applied just the tiniest bit tinge of shimmer in the inner corner this is a shimmer shade from the 350 palette as well and I take that on a big fluffy pencil brush so for a lip liner, I'm using my Jordana Best Lash Extreme in the shade Sedona. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Jordana Easy Liner for Lips <laughs> in the shade Sedona Red. And I just use this to line my lips because going in with a dark or a red, your lips, you know, you don't want them to bleed or anything like that. So I just lined my lips. And then for lipstick, I use my Milani look or look of lipstick. My Milani lipstick. It's a matte lipstick in plush red i believe yes no best red i'm sorry best red is the shade and it's a bright it's a brighter red but if you're not comfortable you have to find the perfect red for your skin tone which might be a little bit darker more like a berry or wine so then i went in with concealer and a flat definer brush and i just hit the edges of my mouth and blended that, those out a little bit more so that way 
it didn't look like it was running all over my lips. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.